morning, people. Welcome back to the channel today. Our video star is a Genshin Impact streamer called Envy Ossie. And oh boy, we got a special one today, honestly. So how did I find out about this situation, you might ask? Well, I saw on Irrational Chat a clip, which I'll show you now. I'm going to show the whole clip because it's like a two minute clip, but just the highlights of this clip for you. Just to get you guys interested in the topic. It's not the absolute best. I try and not do this. I don't. I've been streaming for 280 days. And this has happened about like two or three times. Oh, no, I'm good. 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 <laughs> so, there you have it. This 29 year old grown ass man is crying, basically having a fucking breakdown on stream. And you kind of gotta wonder why? Why is this guy breaking down? So, as it turns out, this guy's pretty much a well known locale in the, was it Genshin Impact community? Yeah. He makes shit takes and he gets heat for it. Anyway, let's have a look at some of his baller takes we can get here. As if a YouTube video is gonna do anything about it. As if one star in Google Classroom is gonna do anything about it. As if unfollowing Genshin Impact is gonna do anything about it. I should be the only motherfucker getting praise in the Genshin community because I don't spend money on Genshin Impact. So, as you can tell, he's making some pretty bad takes here. He's like, well, if you, you know, one star of a game, if you leave the community, you know, you don't buy the game, don't buy the fucking garbage, pay to win stuff, then yeah, the game's gonna get better. But he's disagreeing with that pretty hardcore. And he's also doing the, I should get praised because I didn't buy anything of the game. So he's what we like to call a free to play supremacist. <laughs> But realistically, the reason why people are so mad at him is because his audience of free-to-plays just fucking shit on, annoy, and harass anyone who, like, buys stuff in the game. So, as you can tell, there's a lot of reasons not to like this dude. So, now, let's get on to one of his major critics, called Tectone. This guy made a... <laughs> he, made, he made a schizo thread on, uh, Twitter, or Zitter, or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. He made a giant schizo thread we're gonna go through right now, because this is... Absolutely wild. My trauma with Tectone. This will be the first and last time I make a public statement about my experience with Tectone over three years. The control he's had on my life, the PTSD, a summary of it all. A over recent events, which has encouraged me to speak my truth. Yeah, so you can tell this is going to be an absolute banger, especially when he hit us with the PTSD. <laughs> like, oh god. So you just know this guy is going to have such a great friend. It's just going to be beautiful. Due to my recent actions, I've quickly learned that staying silent for three years and allowing this trauma to drill up inside me, rather than addressing it, will regrettably result in hot-tempered takes of me acting out as someone I'm not. It all started with a prolonged period of him badgering me throughout daily streams. I go live when he's live. Envy, let me know before you stream. Half my viewers always leave to watch you. Can you stream later? <laughs> my community was confused why I had to cater to him. Yeah, I'm also kind of confused why I have to cater to this guy. Also, it's not like he's being threatening or even kind of mean. He's just kind of asking you stuff and being kind of nice-ish. I don't know, he's just asking you things. Like, I'm not sure what the problem with this one is. I don't know why you started off the PTSD brigade with this claim or evidence or whatever this is. It's just, I, it just kind of waters down your argument a little bit and makes you seem kind of stupid. <laughs> what can I? Everything turned into a competition. I want to host giveaway. He had to do a bigger giveaway. If I was close to passing him in followers, He'd tell his audience to not let me catch up. This instigated his fans to flog my chat and tell everyone to unfollow and follow him. Yeah, can you guys see why I made this video? This shit is the funniest, dumbest fucking shit imaginable. I don't know, maybe maybe he's got 
Stronger claims later on, but fuck me, bro. Come on. It ultimately stopped being a competition to him, and rather a means to bully and belittle me any chance he could get. I never understood his mindset of needing to continuously punch down at a smaller content creator. Oh no, the guy bullies me for when I lose viewers. Oh no. Add to his evidence is just like two people in his chat going, Oh yeah, he um... He shits on that guy for he shits on me he shits on the streamer for losing viewers, and the other guy's just like he watched him. He watched his stream on power. <laughs> During my Rosaria pool years ago, was a glimpse, was glimpses at the PTSD in action where I'd be anxiously waiting for more of his community to jump in and spread hate. This was my streaming life, but I had to bottle in and couldn't speak out about due to fear. I can't, my heart can't take any more chat. I'm at, I'm, my heart rate, I, I can't, I can't. My heart rate's at 151, two for fuck's sake. I can't take any more of this shit. I know you guys keep fucking pressuring me and telling me Envy, keep going. Please, keep fucking going, go, get Rosaria. And there's gonna be some fucking toxic people later today. They're gonna be all like, oh, imagine tuning in to watch Envy and he didn't get the Rosaria. Imagine how fucked up that is. Well, welcome here. We'll get Rosaria for you. You know, the toxic people fucking say, saying shit, whatever. Chat, I just can't. I can't. I can't. I'm already fucking stressed out because we didn't get her. I'm upset. We're 65 wishes in. We've got nothing but dog shit. We have to stop here, all right? I'm fucking sorry. If I let anyone down in here that, that I didn't get Rosaria because he thought I would get her. Literally, I said I would only go like 20 wishes in at the very beginning. I upped it to 30, and then I upped it to 44, and we're at 65 right now. We're at 65, all right? I didn't. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't supposed to go to 65. Okay. I was. I was hoping to get her at 40, at least. I apologize if I let anyone down. I'm pretty sure people later on are gonna fucking talk shit about me and say, "Oh, imagine Envy. He didn't get the Rosaria. Imagine tuning in for that shit and all toxicity and shit, whatnot." I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. All right. I'm upset at myself. I already know. Okay. Guys, is this? Fucking real. This guy's about to have a panic attack because he didn't roll a fucking character in a gotcha game. I am out here fucking amazed. This guy is, what, five years older than me and he's about to have a fucking panic attack because he can't get a fucking character in some shitty ass gotcha game. No offense to anyone who likes fucking that kind of game. I think it's dog shit, but fuck me, bro. Really? <laughs> Fuck off. This, uh, this shit's fucking ridiculous. Despite it all, he built this false narrative and told his audience that everything he did was just friendly banter. I never reciprocated those feelings back to him. Hell, he assumed since he followed me on Twitter, it instantly made us friends. Honestly, the, everything you've shown gives me friend vibes, gives me like busting each other's balls vibes, or busting your balls, I guess. But I didn't, like, maybe he didn't realize that you were, like, some pathetic, weak noodle person that just can't take any heat at all, or any kind of bull busting. Like, I don't know, man. It just seems like a you problem at this point. This eventually led me into a panic attack I've had on stream, where because it was on the internet, he now uses that to antagonize me more. This confuses me since he should know better than anyone about being vulnerable when he went on Healthy Game to speak with Dr. K. So what caused this? Because Envy, Envy, gets, Envy gets one guy a lot and gets riled up real easy. Like that one time where people asked him if he was going to join my game show and then he cried on stream. Envy asked he's going to cry. Um, I'm not sure what your evidence for this is. It's just him going, Envy Ossie is going to cry. Um, homie, you literally break down and cry on stream, from what I understand, fairly often. At least, at least I've seen clips of you do it quite a bit. Apparently you've been taking down clips of you crying, so... I don't know, there could be more out there that are archived, I don't know. But homie, he's just speaking facts, like, I don't know, he's speaking facts. I watched the session with Dr. K and thought he would finally change. That he'd finally have empathy. That he'd understood the importance of mental health in this economy over the years. Especially when constant bullying results in severe outcomes. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Chief. You haven't proved that this shit's bullying by any degree. At most, I would say maybe it's a light negging. And I mean super, super fucking light negging. Like... Homie, if this is bullying to you, I think you should leave the internet forever, I'll be honest. You should probably get offline because it's too much for you. Fast forward, and we finally squashed the beef. And a load of stress was relieved. I thought maybe for once we could move on. 
Everyone was happy for the outcome. We made peace at last. That was until the Fire Nation attacked. Oh, sorry guys. That was until shortly after I found out but he apparently just kept attacking me despite me not doing anything to him. The cycle thus continued. The whole Tectone Envy beef was happening. And I was like, I'm sure I can fix this. I'm sure I can help mediate this. And I thought I did. Because th I thought they quashed it. And I, I, it was cro it was quashed. But, but then he, then Tectone opened his mouth again. He opened his mouth again and he started shitting on Envy again. So I went, like, what can, what can I do? What can anyone do? You know? Like, he always ends up starting shit again. Not gonna lie, at this point, I'm thinking Tectone's pretty based. And honestly, this guy is kind of deserving getting shit on, I'll be honest. He just does so many goofy things. I'm not surprised. He probably said something, did something stupid. And then Tectone just decided shit on him again, I'll be honest. So, eh. I guess he shouldn't have done it if they made peace, but this guy, he's kind of one of those guys that you just kind of can't help but, you know, meme on a little bit. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to isolate myself and block out anything involving him due to the constant stress. Because of this, I ended up missing some pretty big news, disturbing and disturbing clips of him, which I found out a couple of days ago. Inexcusable behavior. How do I deal with that? I love him. Don't touch me. I'm patient. No, you're fucking not. You're like the most impatient, moody fucker I've ever met. I'm patient when it comes to you. Freem, I carry our marriage, and you know that. Freem, you know that. I think we have a pretty 50-50 marriage. You're high. You're high. You're kidding. On stream? Is this content? Or wait, you're kidding, bro. You think you think so? I think I help. I'm not saying you don't help, but you think you think it's 50-50? Oh. Oh Thank you, God. I do, I do, I do. Have you ever heard of jerk mate? Explain. Explain. I mean, okay. I would unironically say I'm probably one of the best husbands on planet Earth. You're a very good husband. No, no, no. I wouldn't say very good. I would say one of the best. I would say I'm goaded with the fucking sauce. Okay. I'm just saying, like, you carry in social aspects, I carry in the back end tech stuff. And I feel like together we make a good team. No, okay, well, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about marriage. Okay. Marriage. I, not, not tech stuff. I mean, our marriage still includes our... Our business relationship with me helping with your career. Because that's a big part of our marriage. No, but I'm the subathon is a big part of our marriage. I'm saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying take job out. Take jobs out. Sure, you help me with tech stuff for my career, sure. But marriage, dude, I am the conflict resolution god. Yeah, you are. 100%. No, 100%, you are. I, I am the greatest shoulder to cry on. I am the greatest consoler. I'm understanding everything. The romantic shit I do is crazy. Like, are you... I'm... I'm why are you giggling? Why are you laughing? Just saying Techie likes the back end, I'm... <laughs> Frim. Oh, they're okay, Superman. Frim, you know beyond a shadow of a I'm an incredible husband. I, I never said that you were. But you never said that I was. Okay, you are an incredible husband. I agree. And I am so understanding of all of your wants and needs. All of them. And uh, uh, how accommodating I've been is insane. Mm -hmm. Why are you not saying anything? I'm saying, mm hmm. Yes, I agree. Uh huh. Of course. So, for like yes. marriages and emotions and understanding and communication. I would say I do about 90% of that. Yes. Okay, there we go. Then the majority of marriage is communication. Yes. I'm just 
saying, dude. When it comes to emotions dealing with our issues and fucking. Okay, when it comes to emotions and dealing with our issues, mm-hmm. yes, you Let's are. Let's go and keep on gagging. But I'm looking at a whole. Like, you help me out, I help you out. Uh huh. I give you your space, you give me my space, we mutually love each other, we mutually are happy with each other, we're still each other's best friends, I hope, right? Yeah, that's a lot of assuming happening okay. right now. A lot of assuming. Right. Now, I would say you're a goaded helper. I would say that you're a goaded helper. Okay. But why are you being weird? I'm not a goaded wife. No, I'm talking about the specifics. Oh, okay. Right? Like, we talked about, like, I'm good at the communication guy, right? Yes. I'm the communication guy. But I feel like you as a helper is very good. Like, keep shit on track. Yes. Right, like a planner. I try my best. I'm learning as I go. Four or left. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea why he even put this clip in. I'm not sure what it shows us, what it's meant to convey. All it seems like is the dude's pretty based. He's memeing around. He's having fun on camera. Live streaming while driving, I guess. <laughs> But like, ah, oh, he had his hands on the wheel, so it's not a big deal, who cares? But like, yeah, I'm gonna put like a little, you can skip this because it's a fucking nothing burger. There's nothing there. I didn't see any, was it, inexcusable behavior there. I just saw a guy talking to his ex-wife, apparently. Apparently they're divorced now. But why the fuck did this guy bring this up? Like, what, what, what is this relevance to anything? It literally didn't show nothing. It had this, it showed this guy having like an amicable relationship with his fucking ex-wife. Cool. Epic. Anyway, next, I guess next fucking part of the thread. I'm disappointed in myself that I wasn't able to find out this information sooner. Because after learning what shameless human behavior he displayed has made me lose any ounce of respect I had left for him. I feel less anger now and instead feel disgust and pity for him. Sadly, due to my past trauma and under duress, I made a hot-headed statement of I should be the only one praised for being F2P in Genshin. Through the recent Genshin drama, my peers gave their honest opinion, said that it was out of line and it wasn't like me to say that at all. This guy's PTSD is his Captain America's shield of criticism. I did it because I had PTSD. It was all the PTSD that made me retarded. <laughs> Like, okay, bro. All right, all right. All right. Sure, bro. Sure, bro. They were right. It wasn't me. I'm not the best at articulating my emotions. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Especially when dealing with anxiety and allowing this trauma to live inside me. Things <laughs> things spiraled out of control. I look back at that moment and everything's a blur. Sadly, I can't erase people's first impressions and I apologize for that. I'm upset I allowed this constant harassment of harassment affect me this much. I'm thankful my peers and community have been <laughs> with me for years. I know I never acted like that once and have stuck by my side. Yeah, homie, I bet he was in a dark place when he read all that stuff and said all that stuff. Man, he must have been in the darkest of darkest places or whatever, but yeah. Man, he's like, well, dude, first impressions are gonna be so bad. Bro, it's not even your first impressions. It's like your eighth impressions, man. Everything I see about you just makes me dislike you more and more, honestly. Maybe I'm only seeing the bad shit, but goddamn, you seem like a soft little bitch. There, there's only ever been one common denominator in all this stress, and I already know the outcome of this tweet. Since we've been through this cycle many times, he'll continue to defend, deflect, and villainize. The unnecessary harassment will continue, and nothing will change. I've learned over these years, but if I defend myself, if I don't defend myself, I'll anger him. If we squash the beef, he'll continue to shit talk me. In a triple lose situation, I've realized I need to do what's best for me. Finally letting go. Dog, I'll be honest, the only thing you should be letting go is the internet, homie, because you are. <laughs> Jesus, man. There's levels to. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. Snowflakiness, crybabiness. Just general cringe lordness. It's just amazing, this guy. Even. <laughs> I don't know. How does this guy survive in real life? It's hard for me to believe these kind of people are real. Honestly, it's just embarrassing.
This is my peace. I only expect nothing to change, and he will continue to slander me whether I made this post or not, but my anger has faded. I feel pity for him, and I can't in good faith acknowledge him any further. Your words hold no value anymore. I am free. Okay, as much as I love to meme on this guy, no hate should be sent his way. No one should harass him. No one should slander him or do anything crazy. Otherwise, he'll probably make like a fucking 80 paste. <laughs> He fucking post schizo rant about you, how you're basically an abuser and you're you're his you're his you're you know he's your victim or whatever. Honestly, guys, um, I don't know. More of the story is some people just shouldn't be online. This guy is probably a prime case example of people who shouldn't be online. He's way too soft for the internet. This guy, I don't know, bro. I hope nothing bad happens to this guy and his mental health isn't as shit as it sounds or looks. But yeah, no hate to this guy, I hope he gets better offline.